Hello everyone, my name is Tom, and this is Chrono Trigger. Uh, this is a game that I've never played before. I miraculously have avoided almost all information about it, and despite the fact that it is 2019, I get to experience it blind. And that's really cool, because I love JRPGs, and I've played a lot of them, uh, primarily Final Fantasy ones, and seeing as how this is one of the most popular JRPGs of its era, I figured it's only right that I get to experience it, and I figured what's the best way to do that but to do, to do a Let's Play of it, which I've never done before, so there's going to be some awkwardness involved. Part of that awkwardness is that even though this is a blind playthrough, it is a blind playthrough with a caveat, because I just recorded about the first 30 minutes of the game, and then went back to check the footage and realized that I hadn't checked the audio balancing, and you can barely hear me over the game sounds. So... The first 30 minutes or so won't be blind, but we're going to get up to where I first left off, which is right after a major thing happens, and then we'll go from there. So the fact that there is a resume there, don't be bothered by that. Now, as I said, there's very little I know about the game, and I already did all this, so we're just going to skip right past it. Uh, some of the things that I know about the game are that it was created by a dream team of developers, uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi of Final Fantasy, Yuji Horii of Dragon Quest, and of course, Akira Toriyama of Dragon Ball, given the art style. Uh, that it does indeed involve time travel, and this is something that I knew, or at least surmised, beforehand, uh, based on a couple of snippets of information I've received, plus, you know, Chrono being in the title. Uh, there's something involving a difficult-to-recruit party member, which is something I remember from a friend talking about the game with other people in my presence years ago. But I don't know anything about the character, I don't know who they are, how to get them, anything like that. So, um, all I know is that they exist and can join you in some capacity. And then finally, I know that the Wake Up Chrono meme, or trope, I suppose, comes from this game. So, that's it. That's all we know. And we're going to go into it with that. Uh, we'll show the Millennium Festival and get up to the events that occur right after that. And uh, we are going to stick with the base names for all the characters, because I just feel like that preserves the experience a little bit better. So we are going to be Chrono. Now something that I did say beforehand, when I previously recorded, is I'm going to read major lines in cutscenes and whatnot. Uh, if that's something you'd prefer that I don't do, please let me know, and I will make sure that I don't do it in the future. But for now, we will. Chrono? Chrono! Chrono, are you still sleeping? Come on, Sippyhead, it's time to get up. Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. I'm assuming it's Lean. We're just gonna go with that for now. You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you'd better not let the giddiness get into you, or, yeah, get you into any trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Again, I'm, I said this before as well, but I'm not really sure what trouble I could get into, but, I mean, you know, mothers being mothers, I guess. Come on now, out of bed with you. And away we go. Do your morning stretches, Chrono. It's about time. By the way, you're going to go see... Oh dear, what was her name? That young adventurous friend of yours. I can't believe my mother doesn't know... My best friend's name. It's Luca! Yes. That's right, Luca. You're going to stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Well, run along, then, and be back before dinner. Can do. Not gonna miss out on dinner. Actually, I didn't check before. Do you have anything else to say, Mother? Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your... Aha! Your allowance! Awesome. Cool. Yeah, see, I, I missed that before. I only had 400 gold. Gil. Gold? gonna nominally go with Gil here. I said before, too, it's super interesting that there's not, like, a town map. It's just the world map, and then you can go into places. Um, I don't know how important most of these places are. I know the market's closed. I don't remember what this was. Oh, this is the weird lady that was like, I know that this is as happy as I'm ever going to be. It's like, okay... 
Uh, the only thing I am going to make sure I do is we're going to go to the mayor's house, because I know there's some stuff here I can get. Uh, let's see. Got the potion. Don't need to talk to any of these folks. For anyone who's watching this and hasn't seen it, like me who hasn't played it, all of these people do is today just explain the game to you. So, uh, we'll open this. See if the mayor has anything to say. I'm going to share some insight. Sure! So you've got potential. He tells you about techs or abilities or whatnot. Oh! Oh. I didn't... Huh. Okay, I didn't realize that you could talk to him again there. I accidentally clicked on him and said something about... Aren't, don't you have spirit or something? And then gave me extra money, which I mean, hey. I'm not going to complain. Alright, to the Millennial Festival! Now, I don't know much about what you're supposed to do here. Like, I messed around with a couple of the games and everything, got some points. Uh, nice. Silver card. I bet on the race before, I bet on the cat. The cat wrecked it. Ooh. Sorry if you heard a funny noise there. I had to muffle my mic because I was about to sneeze. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about betting on this right now because it didn't really seem like there was a whole lot of point to the silver points thing. Uh, but for those who didn't see it, you can do different activities here. And you get silver points, and then you can use silver points to, like, go mess around at this tent anymore, which is a total scam, by the way. Or you can, like, buy weapons from this guy, which I guess is potentially valuable, but I don't know. And then there's this girl. She says, oof, ouch, this is Marley, I think. Marl, I'm going to go with Marley, but if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Uh, my pendant, don't tell me I lost it. Well, it seems you did, and it's right here. Oh my goodness, my pendant. I know it doesn't, doesn't look like much, but it was has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yes. Thank you. I must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering around alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk around together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Sure! Yahoo! This will be fun! Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's, uh, um... Marley! Yes. It's Marley, and you're... Chrono. What a nice name! Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Note, too, that the bell rings when you run into her, and one of the people in the square says something about, like, if you hear Leem's bell, you'll have eternal happiness or something like that. Uh, no. Also, something else I remember is... Ugh, get out of the way. This cat... Aha. Uh -huh, you can get him to follow you. I wasn't sure if he'd follow you without talking to the girl. There's a girl over here that... Eh, there we go. You can actually bring the cat back to her. And she's like, oh, my cat, you found it. So, come on. There we go. No, come... Come here. There we go. What the... Wait, what? You brought back... Where'd it go? It just bolted. What the hell? That didn't happen last time. That was weird. So last time I talked to her first, and um, she's like, oh, can you go get my cat? I was like, oh, cool. There was one over there. So I grabbed it and came over, and when I talked to her, it went and it jumped up on here. So I'm not sure what happened there. Uh... Oh, it's the tribal dancers. Yeah, there's just like... This is like a barbaric prehistoric dance, but I couldn't do anything with it, so we're just gonna zip right on by. Again, I'm sorry if this is like a little jarring, but just, I figure I may as well accelerate past things a little bit. We can get some silver points, though. Although, again, I'm not really sure what the point is, so I won't focus on it too much. There was, though, a really sweet fight against a robot over here. Gato! The singing robot cat! Call me Gato, I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points! Heck, yeah. So something else I'm still trying to figure out, too, is, like, how the system works. It seems to me like you... Ooh, was it a crit, I'm guessing? Ha! Huh. Yeah, so it seems like 
you can't move, like you're just standing wherever the game arranges you, but then the enemies move, and you kind of want to time your attacks and stuff around where they're at. Like this guy, whenever you attack him, if he's within range, he'll just counterattack the crap out of him. We got a TP, we got some XP. Oh no, I have lost, and it seems you've won. Here are your 15 points. Now, wasn't that fun? Awesome. So before I actually fought the robot a couple of times, you can eat this guy's lunch here, apparently, which I felt kind of bad about. Um, but it gives you full HP, so I used that to grind a little bit. I got level 2, got some extra points, but... Um, again, I don't really see the point of that, so... Uh, now these gentlemen... Yeah, they tell us to come back later, so... I wasn't sure exactly how to do that. I messed around down here for a little while. Uh, wait, did I talk to this guy before? Oh, there's a race underway, that's right. Um, this, this again is, uh, I bet on the race before in the cat one, which is awesome. But, again, I'm not too worried about it. So, I think... I hear Luca and her father put together another crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again like the last one. They ought to be ready by now. They were setting up at the far end of the square. Oh, I want to see it. Come on, Chrono. Now, one thing I am going to do quick, because remarkably, this game gives you, like, a ton of freedom on where you can go at the start. So I actually want to go into the forest here. Because... I'm going to try and avoid, just for the sake of time, fighting any of these enemies. But there is a an item up here that I was able to grab. Wait, was it up here? No. It was down here. Maybe. I think it was down here anyway. Aha! Nice. And that was a strength capsule that I immediately gave to Chrono, because he's our warrior boy. Not the potion! There we go. Nice. Alright. I don't think there was anything else in here that I messed with before. I fought a few different enemies and whatnot, but, again, it doesn't really seem like there's much of a point. There's probably something drastically important that I'm missing, so... Um, that does... What the? Zenon Bridge. That's cool. I don't know if there's random battles. Yeah, we're not going to find out. I don't want to have this be a Final Fantasy situation and walk onto a random continent where T-Rexes start spawning and just obliterating you. Um, but yeah, speaking to the fact that I've never played this game before, please don't spoil anything. Uh, I know it's a game that a lot of people have played. Uh, a lot of people probably know exactly where to go and what to do and stuff, but I don't want to ruin the organic nature of me experiencing this game for the first time. I'm already kind of upset... We'll hang out here for just a second. I'm, I'm kind of already upset that I have to re-record this because you're missing out on my initial experience of this first part of the game. It's, so, just... If I have a specific question about something or I'm stuck or there's a game mechanic that I want clarification on or whatever, that I'll ask about. Um, in fact, my first question to you, the audience, is... Is there any way that I'm able to move around in combat, or am I just stuck where I am and then I have to plan my moves based on where the enemy goes and where the game places me? Uh, beyond that, don't tell me anything unless I ask for it, and uh, we'll remain unspoiled and continue moving forward. Just a minute, I want to get some candy. This one was a little weird, like, I'm just not able to do anything here until she gets her candy, I guess, so we're just going to hang out until Marley gets her candy. And I'm going to drink coffee. Excuse me, I'd like one of these. Sure, young miss. I had literally no options, though. This part's cool. Come on, step right on up! Any with the time and courage. Our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. Also, I'm incredibly impressed, can I just say, with the amount of technology that they have in what is apparently the year 1000 AD, uh, based on what it said on the world map earlier. Like, they ha apparently have guns and interdimensional transporters and <laughs> robots and all these weird things. It's it's very interesting. Um, and obviously, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's a fantasy world; they can do whatever they want with it. But it's just it's a pretty cool variation on the classic RPG fantasy tropes. Anyway, simply hop up here, and to be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. Who's right there?
Good to try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Why, hello, sir. Chrono! I was wondering when you'd show up. No, wants to try my... no one wants to try my telepod. I can't imagine why. Apparently, she has a reputation for all of her machines exploding. So, yeah. I'm not really too surprised there. Would you be so kind? Oh, this will be fun! I'll watch while you try it out. Also, something else I wanted to comment on. I don't know if it's... I mean, I guess it is done by Square Enix, so... It makes sense. But a lot of the animations and graphical style of this remind me so much of the Mana series. Specifically, Secret of Mana. Um, which is the one that I played when I was a kid. Like, Marley right here looks and moves just like the female protagonist of that game, which is pretty interesting. Just hop up out of the left pod. Now wait... I wonder what happens if you get on the right pod. I kind of want to try it. Just, oh. I guess nothing. Fair enough. System activated! Initiating energy transfer! And magically, we are teleported to the other pad. Isn't technology something? Ooh, amazing, says the crowd. Yeah, a little bit more than amazing. Friggin' phenomenal, if you ask me, but... It worked! Unbelievable, they never... <coughs> As I was saying, Luca has done it again, ladies and gentlemen. A thrilling display of science at its best. Just trying to sell his daughter's ego here. So how was it? Want to try it again? Sure! System activated! Initiating energy transfer! Woo! Ooh, amazing, again! Alright, Marley, you wanna give it a shot? That looks like fun, I wanna try it too! Huh? Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? Now, I commented before that... Wondering if Luca's trying to tell us something here. It seems like she might be. It's all right, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait right here. Don't run off on me. Yep, I'm just gonna walk away while you get teleported around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. You're sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. I love how they set this up. Like, oh, it's going to just not go well at all. No way, I'm not afraid. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand when she teleports from the platform. I like how the music stops and everything. Just like, yep, this is going to be terrible. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. And then... What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? And then we open an interdimensional portal to the Steins Gate universe! We're gonna find a gel Marley next. And she's gone. I do wonder why the pendant gets left behind, though. Like, everything else gets brought along. Luca, she's not reappearing. Well, all right, as you can see, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, folks. Move along. I, I love that they all just accept it. Also, what is it with this man? I didn't realize before, but the old man has just this giant, tumorous growth for a head. Like, what the hell? You should get that checked, dude. What just happened, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared. That couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared, and the way her pendant seemed to be reacting to it. Something else must have caused it all. But well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar. I've not have seen her somewhere. See, that part two, that intrigues me. Like, are we just already into the middle of the timey wimey shenanigans just like that? Chrono! Oh, you're going after her? What a fine lad! It's the only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we've got no other choice. Let's just hope it opens up again. Well, it's worth a shot. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono. Embrace yourself! They just accept that they're going to throw him into this rift. They might never see him again, but... Eh, whatever, right? 
System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Boost the power output. Roger. More. I need more power. Roger. There. I think we did it. Interesting too that the pendant doesn't get left behind this time. Good luck, Chrono. I'll follow you as... Uh, words. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. Reassuring things to hear as you get thrown into the nether portal. It really is incredibly impressive that the SNES was just able to do graphics like this. Like, you're so used to just kind of looking clunky, and then you have that, which is pretty wild. But yeah, why... Why did the pendant get left behind for Marley, but not for Chrono? I mean, I guess it could just be plot reasons, but... Oh! The Butt Goblins. Let's go, Butt Goblins! Yeah! Have at thee! Ow. I do like their take on the active turn battle system that some of the other Final Fantasy games use. Alright, we're almost to where I left off before. I like that these chickens just drop these guys on us. Ow. Very good. 4 XP, 2 TP, 24 gold. And my level increased! Woohoo! And I learned Cyclone! Woohoo! Very nice. And we get a potion here, and down here. So this is a question I posed before as well, because we get this Power Glove, right? And, you know, separate from the her her Nintendo Power Glove, yada yada yada. Um, what would be better? Because right now I have the headband, and that as we see here, boosts speed by one. And speed, I'm assuming, increases the rate at which our gauge fills in battle. Whereas the Power Glove here gives us plus two strength, which also obviously seems pretty good. But is it better to get more turns faster, or is it better to do more damage per action? I'm not sure how that kind of hashes out. So, if you have any suggestions for me on that one, please let me know. And these goblins that I guess just this slime is just okay with being a kickball. And I figured out before, oh god no, that cyclone is really effective here. Except I targeted the wrong one, damn it! Alright, well. I'm gonna take a hit from the butt goblin. Ow. Nice. Great success. 49 gold, a potion. And we are going to pop a potion here, I think. Nice. And potions of sway. Are worth 50? Is that what it said? Said? Source 50 HP. Nice. Alright, very good. Continuing on. And here we are. In the setting slash land of question mark. Chrono's panicking. Nope, not in the Truce Canyon. And, uh, yeah, this is all we've got going for us, it seems. So, this is where I got to before. Uh, much faster than I did before, but this is where we're going to leave off. Uh, we're going to pick up the next episode with me exploring what I can only assume is a past or future version of the land that we're used to. The castle over there is the same. The general layout of the island is the same. So, I'm guessing we just got thrown either backwards or forwards in time. But that said, uh, we are going to leave it here. Thank you, anyone who watched this far. This is going to be a full Let's Play. So I hope you enjoy the series with me, because I'm sure it's going to be pretty fun. It seems like a very cool game. Uh, for now, though, we're going to go ahead and toss a save here. We're going to overwrite the old save, because there is no point in keeping it. We have considerably more gold than we did before, or gil. Again, not sure, which is nice. And uh, until next time, thank you all for joining me, and I will have another video very soon. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your days. Bye-bye.